What do you got there? I got three babies. Well, they're not babies anymore. They're still your babies, right? Yep. They're, let's see, September. They're four months old now. Aww. I'm going to introduce them to the new, to the flock. Welcome. Is the audio on? I just turned it on. So none of that first part. Hi, welcome to day number two of the chicken coop build. This chicken coop is going to be primarily built from repurposed uh, materials from a, a barn that we tore down. Today, the purpose of this video is to frame up some of the wood. Frame up some of the wood. Today, the purpose of this video is to get a lot of the framework done, attaching the wood framework to the metal skeleton that came from that old dog kennel. I'm gonna be moving all of these uh, vertical uprights to space them according to how I want the walls to be designed. But right now I'm gonna get them loose so I can scoot them around. The door also will not be used, so when I loosen this one up and scoot it out of the way, I will also be removing the door. This can be sold on Craigslist or used as a trellis or something else. We're not gonna use it in this project. We're gonna try to keep all this hardware together so that the next person that uses it won't have to be searching around for hardware. Okay, so. Looks getting tired of holding up the structure, so let's figure out where these things need to go. Each of these corner posts, I'm gonna make sure that they're as close to exactly in the middle of that bend as possible. That way, when I put a board here and here, it'll pretty much sit on top of the, um, the base metal. Last one, Luke. I gotta make sure it's right in the middle. Scoot that one over, right there. Now it's solid. Now you don't have to hold it. Now we're gonna figure out where those verticals on the sides are gonna go. I'm gonna have the door here, so I'm gonna have enough support right here that I won't need more than one vertical. I have two more verticals, that means I'm gonna put two on this side. If you can hold this here, make sure that doesn't pop off. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna do one third. So that's 12 feet, three and a half inches. So four, four feet one inch is a third. We're gonna put one here.
process of fiddling with the hardware, I learned a few things. One, when you're working with a scrap pile and everything is cut already, you have to work with the dimensions that are available. So, I went ahead and scooted the, the verticals on the end in a little bit so that I could take advantage of the 12 foot boards. That means I had to scoot the these in just a little bit, wrap this around to scoot that in. It was only just a little bit, but it was enough so that I could get 12 feet to the outside of this pole to the outside of that pole. The second thing I learned was the more you fiddle with these with an impact wrench, the more likely you are to break off a part of the bolt. And I also learned that the, the vertical sidebars, I had three of those in there, uh, they were both unnecessary and in the way. So they are now leaning up over here with the gate that I don't need. I haven't screwed anything together yet, but I laid on the inboards and the sideboards. The sideboards were left exactly the length that they were from the from the barn teardown. I did have to trim off the inboards so that it would be the exact dimension from the outside of this board to the outside of that board. Now we're going to go around and build that box on the bottom and the top and then attach it to the metal frame. fiddling just to build a box but now we got to build that same box on the top I'm gonna attempt to build it on the bottom and then move it to the top since it's just me out here Mama Curbs is inside taking care of Luke. Now I gotta figure out how to get that second level of that box hoisted to the top so I can secure it to the metal poles. We're gonna see if the ratchet straps can help us What do you think? Is it gonna work? Am I gonna be able to hoist that all the way to the top? I think I got it. And that's about where I got frustrated enough to quit. Let me show you what got me, what was my hang up. My original idea was to get this, the box on top, the box on bottom. You saw me hoisting it up 
and that worked out okay. It was a little, little frustrating, but I made it work. And then I thought I would be using screws to tap through the wood into the metal. And I think that could work, but the screws that I had, the round galvanized metal, made it very difficult. These are sheet metal screws, and I figured if I put a drill bit through here and then put that sheet metal screw, I could hold all this on and then not use as much wood in the framing. Well, I broke two drill bits and the sheet metal screws were not going in very well. So I got frustrated. I ran down to the hardware store trying to find a different solution and I didn't, I wasn't comfortable with any of the solutions that they had, uh, the different screw types. So rather than that, I decided to back off, think about it, look at it, and here's what I came up with. It's, it seems like a very logical, logical way to do this. I just originally was thinking I wanted to rely more on the metal structure and put a little less wood, but I think in the end, I'm gonna be more satisfied with this. So here's what I have so far. I built out one end and so one piece on this side is top to bottom and that held up both uh you know held up the top one from the bottom one and it made it really easy for me to space that out because i got one one measurement and cut four identical to hold that top box up and then i made the the angle brackets i put one on top one on bottom going opposite directions to give it support both directions so it wouldn't wobble. And on this side, I just filled in with smaller pieces of wood. That also gave me an easy way to create uh, this box on the bottom where we're gonna have the sheet metal. The truth is with this project, I have a huge pile of uh, resources from the barn. I have plenty of wood, so there's no reason for me to not utilize the lumber that I have. And it seems silly at this point that I should be going and purchasing different hardware to make something work when I don't have to. Cause this is just gonna take a few extra deck screws, you know, outdoor wood screws, whereas with the other solution, I would have to go buy different hardware. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this build in this video series. It's gonna be a fun project and I really do believe it's gonna be a pretty nice chicken coop. But uh, you know, when you start with that metal frame and you're working around it. Honestly, I could have built this without the metal frame, but it gave me a place to start and something to dream about and something to share. So, all right, enough of that for tonight. There's more coming soon. We're gonna be building doors, putting a roof on, wrapping it in sheet metal and hardware cloth, putting material on the inside for the birds to walk in. In one corner, there's gonna be a really cool little coop with uh, access from the outside for the eggs, a ladder on the inside for them to get into. Lots coming. I think they're old enough to go and meet their friends. Aren't they pretty? You're going to introduce them to, to the other dog kennel coop that we really don't want to show much on video? Yes. Don't show them. <laughs> Uh-oh. Come on. Don't run away. Mama. Don't run away. Come with Mama. Thanks again for joining me here on the Daddy Curbs Farm channel. A place where I truly believe that everyone has a story and every story counts. Thank you so much for being a part of my story tonight and letting me be a part of yours. I'll talk to you soon.